Hello, welcome to Let's Browse. It's uh, Let's Browse 3. I'm your host, Max, and uh, let's go ahead and get browsing. I've forgotten my handy-dandy kitchen timer, so we're just going to have to keep an eye out uh, on the clock. It's 11.02 uh, a.m. on a drizzly Thursday morning. I'm sorry I missed Let's Browse yesterday, guys. I had uh, quite a bit of technical trouble both uh, trying to sort out getting Let's Browse its own YouTube channel, uh, but still tied to my Google Plus account, which I wasn't really able to solve, but I think I figured out a workaround. And I also wanted to try screencasting, but uh, I wanted to use VLC to do it, because according to Wikipedia, VLC, uh, which is a pretty good program if you don't know about it, it's a media player that is the Swiss Army knife of media players. It can do a lot of other things. Uh, one of those things that it can do is screencasting, which is really, really nice, uh, especially if you don't want to shell out for uh, specific special screencasting software. That failed, though, because I thought I would be able to stream audio uh, in with it, too, and I wasn't able to get audio and video working at the same time. So if all goes well and I decide to waste a lot of time in editing software today, I'm going to go ahead and put the audio stream that I'm recording separately in with the uh, video that you're seeing on the camera right now. But if not, and you know, it sounds even more terrible... It's Well, if it sounds as terrible as it's been sounding the past couple days, it's because I'm still using the internal mic uh, on my fiancé's camera. So, let's get browsing. Uh, I thought today we could take a look at Twitter because I got a lot of interesting things out of Twitter while I was just browsing it this morning before I set this up. Um, yeah, so let's take a little bit of a look. Mm. Okay, this is interesting. It looks like if you, you have used the League of Legends tribunal system and you want to contribute to video game science, you should help Todd. And it looks like there's an MIT researcher who needs a little bit of help. Uh, this sounds pretty cool. I'll go ahead and bookmark this in Delicious, and uh, I'll take more of a look at this later. But it sounds like, oh, it's um, the researcher's name is Todd Harper, and he's a researcher at the MIT Game Lab currently doing a study on League of Legends players who participate in the Tribunal. The study is looking at how and why players use the Tribunal as well as their decision-making process. He's hoping to recruit people for the study and then this guy's email and some other stuff. All right, not, not bad, Twitter. Thank you, Simon Ferrari and uh, Darius Kazemi for tweeting that out. Let's take a look at this uh, photo that uh, good friend Bill Greener has tweeted. Strange Tale of the Crystal Penguin. I don't get it. All right. Uh, Brandon Boyer says, From now on, I'm only buying boxers that coordinate with potential medical maladies. It's pretty cool. That's, um, I don't know. Isn't that kind of like how, oh, this is going to be bad, but isn't that kind of like how Mormons buy uh, special underwear to protect uh, against uh, spiritual maladies? Uh, Polygon points out that it's the Steam Summer Sale. Let's actually pop on over to Steam right now, take a look at what's going on. Uh, you can get Bioshock Infinite for 30 bucks. You can get Don't Starve. Uh, I'm going to be doing that later on because that was highly recommended to me by my other friend Josh. Uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited. Antichamber, which I highly recommend if you haven't played it. Hotline Miami, which is pretty cool too. And it looks like a bunch of other good deals. Um, and then there's going to be a vote. Yeah, I want Far Cry to be cheap. A problem has occurred recording your vote. Oh, the Steam store is experiencing some heavy load right now. Please try again later. All right, Steam. It sounds like you're having a rough first day of your summer sale here. Um, da -da -da. Jordan Mechner's Templar got reviewed. Uh, I'm very interested in this. It's a graphic novel that the creator of Prince of Persia wrote. And it's about a heist, but some Templars do it. So that sounds pretty cool. Checking this out a little bit later. Let's, let's go ahead and add this link to our delicious. Uh, we'll catch back up with that. Um, not just time for Reddit yet. Not quite ready. Okay, very exciting news. Um, Looks like uh, our friends over at VGHS have gone ahead and released a trailer for season two with its mixed frame rate, but it might have stomped. <laughs> it might have stomped their website. Ah! Oh, it's quite a story, all right. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so I'm gonna be checking that out later. I don't wanna steal their thunder, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on Delicious so you can all follow it. If you're not following it already, it sounds pretty good. I'm, I've already got chills going down my spine a little bit from hearing about uh, the law talking about an FPS wunderkind. So I think uh, Brian's really stepped up his game this season. Just from, just from those three seconds, I can make a very informed opinion. <laughs> God, rid ridiculous. I really hope nobody takes that seriously. Uh, ben says that Steam is a computer program which enjoys games for you. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and favorite that because that's very true. And it's also free Slurpee Day, so thanks to Bobby Miller for pointing that out. Uh... Crippling silence here. I feel like I need to fill it with a lot of uhs, but maybe we could get background music at some point. You can get 20% off Skulls of the Shogun right now, uh, says Barut, who's one of the cool dudes who made that. So let's, let's go ahead and give that a retweet. I think more people need to buy it. I want to buy it for the PC, but I already bought it for the Xbox, and I'm a little bit... Uh, I'm a little bit divided about buying that game twice, even though it's real good. Okay, let's head on over to Reddit. There's a silhouette of the space shuttle passing the sun. It can get even bigger. Let's make this huge. Let's just, let's just blow it out. Yeah, it's a space shuttle. And what else is going on here? I stopped playing eight minutes ago. Little brother is yet to notice. Oh, is he screen hacking? Maybe? Eh. Today I learned that scientists were monitoring whale stress levels by analyzing their poop and found that their stress plummeted immediately following the 9-11 attacks. Turns out this was due to all ship traffic being halted, which quieted the oceans of low frequency noise whales use to communicate and I think that's gonna sum up the whole thing there but you know let's click through check out the full article math science popular until students realize they're hard I actually saw this on I forget what would you call it it was like the unyoung or something like that which is oh that's not right like this. Ah, sadly, this is not The Onion. So I actually just learned about this site the other day, and it's pretty cool. Uh, these are all real news articles that seem hilarious and depressing, but they could easily fit in, blend in, pass for Onion articles. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Wall Street Journal work makes people miserable. It's not funny because it's true. I feel like the Wall Street Journal is featured a lot by these guys. I wonder if the Wall Street Journal just has a knack for saying really depressing things. Um, hmm. What do you frequently see people do incorrectly? All right. Curious about that. Um, and if it may not be intuitive for everybody, what's the correct way to do it? Excel, it's not just a bunch of boxes, it does stuff, that's true. If you're a real Excel wizard, that's pretty cool. People entering a subway car before everyone exiting the train has gotten off. There should be an ironic scene in a movie where the only way for humanity to survive is for everybody to get out of a subway car before other people get in and you know end the apocalypse that way. And the apocalypse would still happen because people are never gonna learn this. Four-way stop signs. There's one by my house. This is true. People tend to either be overly aggressive or overly polite. No one really has a firm grasp on what the right of way actually is, which makes me doubt if I've got a firm grasp on what the right of way actually is. People watching cropped content. Uh, all right, these are some boring complaints, but I looked at it, so let's go ahead and link it. Wall Street Journal, you are tanking today. Uh, here's that whale article. Let's go ahead and put that in the grab bag. And I think we're coming up on 10 minutes, so let's just take a quick perusal through Boing Boing. Seven-year-old compares Tolkien to Beowulf. This is 
pretty cool. If we can zoom in on this, this is like a little 50 word essay this kid wrote. Tolkien and Beowulf. J.R.R. Tolkien studied Beowulf, and I think he was inspired by it because, one, Beowulf was, has a famous sword like Aragorn. There are battle scenes where Aragorn and Beowulf both raise their sword in the morning. Two, Beowulf's dragon has shiny scales like smog. Three, Beowulf is a dragon, has a scale missing like smog. Uh, okay, and dragons both basically live in a mountain. Yeah, this is not bad for a seven-year-old. And I like this drawing. I like this uh, party-colored dragon here and the horde is quite nice and uh oh, i totally like that this kid spelled horde h-o-r sorry h-o-a-r-d-e i can't read when i'm talking uh, i'm trying to think at the same time instead of h-o-r-d-e which is how i always misspell it like a big group of people all right that's pretty cool and I think we're at our 10 minutes for browsing today, even though I've forgotten the timer and got too lazy to get back up. Um, so thanks for coming along with me on this journey. And this has been Let's Browse. Day three, well, technically day four, but Let's Browse three. And I'm your host, Max Geiger. Thanks for watching.